Right now, a brand new trend is exploding on YouTube, AI-powered documentary channels. What if I told you there's a channel called Black Files that's using AI to produce cinematic, documentary-style videos with unbelievable results? Launched just six months ago, it's already crossed over 60,000 subscribers. But here's the wild part, it's not just them. Dozens of creators are now making Hollywood-level B-roll, and some are even pushing into hyper-realistic 3D content, just like the creator Fern. That's why many of their videos are blowing up. Many rack up hundreds of thousands of views, and one about a hacker who took down North Korea already passed 1 million. Now here's where it gets exciting. If you've ever wondered how to make videos like this yourself, stick around, because I'm going to walk you step by step through the exact process. But first, let me show you a quick demo I made, using the same method you're about to learn. December 23rd, 2015, two days before Christmas. In Ukraine, families are preparing for the holidays. Streets are dusted with snow. Apartments glow with yellow light and in the distance church bells echo through the cold for most it feels like an ordinary winter evening but in the control centers of ukraine's power companies something extraordinary is about to happen 6 30 p.m local time operators settle into their chairs sipping tea glancing at the familiar screens filled with green lines of power flows and voltage readouts for years their jobs have been predictable watch maintain respond to small glitches when they appear tonight though something is different a mouse cursor begins to move across a screen slowly, deliberately, and no one in the room is touching the mouse. Do you see that? One engineer whispers. The cursor hovers, then clicks. Switches flip. Circuit breakers disengage. Entire substations, one by one, are disconnected from the grid. Phones erupt with calls. The first thing you need to do is come up with strong topics for your video. To make that easy, I've already put together a Google Doc filled with ready-to-use prompts that simplify the whole process, from video topics to image generation prompts. You can grab it completely free inside the prompts channel of my Telegram group. Just click the link in the description, join for free, and download the file. Once you've got it, you'll have instant access to every single prompt. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit the like button. If this video is helpful because it really helps me out a lot. Now let's jump into the Google Doc I mentioned. Scroll down until you find the topic prompt. Copy everything under it, and then open up your favorite text generator. For this demo, I'll be using ChatGPT, but you can use whichever AI you prefer. Paste the prompt and make one quick change. Look for the placeholder that asks how many topics to generate and replace it with the number you want. I'll go with 15 for this example. Hit enter and the AI will generate a list of topics that fit the style you want. Each result will include a title and event details. The title is the main theme and the event details give extra context that helps guide the AI when it's building your script. Both are important, so keep them in mind. Now look through the list and pick the theme you'd like to turn into a video. Next step is creating your actual script. Go back to the Google Doc and copy the script prompt. Paste it into your text generator. This part is really important, so pay close attention. The prompt has two placeholders, one for the title and one for the event details. Replace each placeholder with the title and event details you just copied from your chosen topic. Don't touch anything else in the prompt. Before you hit enter, remember this. The channel we're modeling creates videos that usually run anywhere from 14 to 30 minutes. That's why the prompt is structured to generate scripts between 3,500 and 5,500 words. That wide range makes up for any errors the AI might make in word count. Now hit enter and wait for the AI to generate your script. It won't be able to create the whole thing in one go, so the prompt is designed to produce it in batches. When the first part is ready, read through it, make any edits you want, and then type continue to generate the next part. Repeat this until your full script is finished. Once your script is ready, it's time to create the voiceover. If you want a free option, check out Google AI Studio, which at the time of making this video still lets you generate voiceovers for free. For this demo, I'll be using Eleven Labs, since it's one of the best tools out there. Pick whichever voice you like personally. I'll go with a British accent for this example. If your script is long, paste it into the studio press control. A to select everything and then hit generate. If a section doesn't sound right, you can always regenerate that part until you're satisfied. Finally, export your finished voiceover as an MP3 file and you're good to go. And that's it. You now have your professional voiceover ready. The next step is creating the images that we'll use to generate the video. But before we can do that, we need image prompts to feed into the image generator. So here's what you do. Copy this image prompt and paste it into your text generator. Now you'll need to make two small changes. First, look for the placeholder that asks 
asks for the number of image prompts and replace it with the number you want. The amount you choose really depends on the length of your script. You can even split your script into smaller parts to make things easier. For this demo, I'll be generating image prompts for just the first part of the script, so I'll go with 20. Next, scroll down to the bottom of the prompt and you'll see the second placeholder. This is where you paste the part of the script that you copied earlier. Replace the placeholder with that section of the script and then hit enter. Now the AI will generate your image prompts. When you look at the results, you'll notice each one has three parts. The first part is just the section of the storyline that the prompt represents. The second part is the actual image prompt, and the third part is a video clip prompt. You won't need the first part for anything except to know what that prompt connects to in your script, but you will need the video clip prompt later when you start generating video clips. Now for image generation, there are a lot of tools you could use including Gemini, but my favorite right now is Google's tool called Whisk, and the best part is it's completely free at the moment. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Once you open Whisk, paste in your prompt and select the aspect ratio you want to use. Hit generate and wait for your results. Check this out. The image looks really good, but sometimes the results won't be perfect, especially if you want a character with no facial features, like this one. The good news is, once the A, I creates a character you like, you can always use it as a reference for the rest of your images. Personally, I prefer the character with facial features, so that's the one I'll stick with. If you want the exact reference image I'm using, I've shared it on my Telegram channel, so make sure to check that out. To add your reference character, click this button and upload the image, then type in any changes you want and hit generate again. For example here, I just want a front facing view since the first one didn't get it right. And look at that. This version is perfect and the AI kept the character consistent. Let's add another prompt and see what it comes up with. This one also looks great. So just keep repeating this process until you've generated all the images you need to cover your story. Once that's done, you'll be ready to move on to creating the video clips. Now that you've got your images ready, it's time to turn them into videos. You can use VO3 or any other video generator you like, but for this demonstration, I'll be using Google AI Studio. Once you're inside, Google AI Studio, go to the sidebar and click Generate Media, then choose VO. The video creation page should look like this. Here, you can choose your video format. I'm going with the 16 by 9 ratio for long form videos. You can also adjust the video duration, but I'll just keep it on the default setting. All right, let's create our first video click the Create button, then select Upload Image and choose your image from your document folder. Now go back to ChatGPT, copy the video prompt and paste it here inside the input box. Once that's done, click Run and let Google AI Studio do its magic. Within a minute, the AI will generate your video. You can preview it right here by hitting Play. If the result doesn't look quite right, just hit Regenerate and try again. Once you're happy with how it looks, click Download to save it. Now just repeat this same process for every single image until you've generated all your clips. Now we move on to the final step, putting everything together to make the full video. Open your preferred video editor. I'll be using CapCut for this example. Make sure all your video clips and your voiceover are selected. Drag and drop them into your project timeline. Start by adding your voiceover to the timeline first. Then go through the audio and remove any long pauses so the flow feels natural. Next, change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 for long form content. Now it's time to add your clips. Drop your first video clip onto the timeline and scale it so it fits the full frame. To add the date at the beginning, click on text and choose default text. Replace the placeholder with the date and then choose the font you want to use for your video. Add some glow or effects if you want and play around with the settings until it looks right. Now go to the animation tab and scroll through the available animations. Pick one you like and adjust the duration so it matches your audio. Then continue arranging the rest of your clips until your full story is in place. Next up filters. Go to the filters section and browse through the available options. Find one that fits your video style and drag it into your timeline so it covers the entire duration. You can also lower the filter intensity if it feels too strong. To make your video even more engaging, it's time to add sound effects. You can grab them from Pixabay or any other royalty-free site, or simply use CapCut's built-in sound effect library. Just go to Audio, Sound Effects, and search for what you need. Try a few out until you find one that fits perfectly, then drop it inside your timeline. To make your intro text pop, 
Make sure the clip directly below it is selected, then go to adjust and tweak the settings until you get something that looks dynamic. Once you're happy, set a keyframe at the start of that adjustment. Move forward to the point where you want it to return to normal and reset the settings. That way, you get a smooth animation that feels professional. If you want to add a simple zoom effect to a still clip, set a keyframe at the start. Move a few frames before the end and slightly scale up the clip. Keep it subtle so it doesn't look too fast if it still feels a bit rough. Right, click the clip choose, show all presets, and then hide variable speed animation that smooths everything out perfectly. Now this next part is optional, but I recommend it. Add background music to keep your video more engaging. You can get one from YouTube's audio library or your favorite royalty-free music site. Import it into CapCut and drag it into your timeline. Lower the volume so it sits nicely under your voiceover and trim any extra parts at the end. Once everything looks and sounds good, your video is ready for export. Choose your preferred resolution either 1080p, 2K, or 4K, and export your final project. And that's it. Your full AI-powered video is now complete. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. If you found this helpful, I'll see you in the next one.